His motto is challenge yourself, and he certainly has lived a life based upon that simple idea. His global philosophy straddles both the East and the West, and his message is one of peace. This morning, the Balancing Act welcomes a very special guest, humanitarian, speaker, designer, and recording artist, Sean Ray. Good morning, Sean. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you for inviting me. Now, you definitely have a multinational background that I would say gives you an ethnicity that is pan-cultural, if you will. You probably agree. Um, tell me about your background, where you're from, and uh, what some of your influences are. Well, I was born and raised in the Indian subcontinent in the country of Pakistan, so I'm from the Muslim background. Uh -huh. um, my lineage, my heritage is uh, Chinese, uh, it's Jewish, it's uh, Muslim, of course, Christian, uh, Hindu, uh, Tibetan, Sikh, and uh, um, Buddhist. Wow, so quite an interesting. <laughs> yes, and as when I was a kid, uh, just to let you know, I got involved with all of this stuff, is, is my uncle took me to a refugee camp when I was six years old, and to see how poor people or people that had nothing lived like. So I went to this refugee camp and saw old women, young children and old men that hadn't eaten for three days. Oh, wow. And uh, when I saw that, I just had a 10 course meal. Uh, it really affected my life. I, from at the age of six, turned into a, a man because I was, I wanted to do something to not see that ever again. And so I've spent most of my life trying to make sure that I work with people that want to alleviate homelessness, hunger, and disease uh, to, to make sure that we have a world that everybody has something. So it really changed your perspective. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. So that's why I'm a 24-7 kind of guy because I want to see that uh, happen. And so that's why I keep on working. So quite an interesting, <laughs> yes, quite an is. interesting background. Absolutely. Now you recently, and this I found this incredibly fascinating, you recently toured the Muslim world. I'm sure that was a pretty remarkable experience. Tell us about it. Yes. Well, in 2007, the king of Saudi Arabia, King Abdullah, and the Pope met. It was the first time a Muslim king went to the Vatican in 1,400 years. Wow. And they discussed about how to find commonality between Christianity and Islam for world peace. And therefore, wow. I was asked to make the first uh, Christmas album, sing on a first Christmas album from the Muslim world in respect of Christianity. Wow, what an honor yeah, to be able to do honor. that. Yes, it was. And you also recently uh, went on the road for a speaking tour. You're a well traveled <laughs> man. Thank you so much. Tell us about uh, that. Well, the, the, the speaking tour had to do with the Christmas album and going into the, uh, speaking to the media in Europe, Middle East, and the Far East. Mm -hmm. And it was about speaking about the state of the world union and about how to be able to have peoples and nations of the world have to work together in order to alleviate the problems that the world faces today. Sure. Yeah. Who all are you um, able to reach when you're on these tours? Are you reaching the people you hope to reach? Are you reaching your benchmark? Well, you know, I'm, I'm, I've been very, very fortunate. Not only am I reaching people, but I'm also reaching the media. And the media is coming up to me and saying, Sean, you're a cross-cultural ambassador. You're from the East and West. Why don't you have some sort of a, a talk show, which is world-centric, talks about the problems that face the world, and uh, have all kinds of viewpoints, and, and of course, be a referee on that, not have your own spin on it. And uh, so that's been very, very exciting for me, and we work on that. Now, you have been incredibly busy because you've been on the speaking tour, you've been on the road tour. Not only do you do all of that work to try to better this planet, you have done some other amazing things too. We mentioned that you're a recording artist at the yeah. top of the show. So you have CDs, yes. you have albums, yeah. you have a book, yes. and you also have a fragrance. Yes. So tell me about that. How do you find time to do all well, of this? Because I work 24-7. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, the fragrance I've had for over 10 years, uh, the book is about world fragrances and perfumes, uh, okay. global perspective. It teaches you how to be able to choose and wear a perfume. And uh, of course, uh, my oneness perfume is about oneness. Uh, it's unisex. It's about um, thinking, uh, being one, in one with yourself, being one with yourself and mm -hmm. with the world. And there, that's a noble thought. So that's why the, the tagline is bring out the nobility in you when you wear oneness. And so, it's unisex, too. Yes, it is, absolutely. People love it all over the world, and uh, it's in boutiques, and it's also, you know, it's sold on the website. And I want to let people com. know at home that you're wearing it today, and it smells wonderful. Thank so you I so wish much. that people Thank at home you. had smell vision. So and the other thing that I found fascinating about the recordings that you've done, one of them is uh, a romance Yes, album. Uh, yes. Uh, people would think that a guy from where I come from, he likes to have women walk four steps behind you, right? <laughs> <laughs> but the romance album is a concept album that was arranged by Charles Colello, who's one of the greatest arrangers in the world. And... Uh, it's about uh, uh, finding, uh, going back to love and romance between men and women 
And uh, therefore, if you have uh, gender harmony, then you can have interfaith harmony and everything else. So it's going to be an infomercial coming up starting in April. Oh, that's year. interesting. Like yeah. they say, happy wife, happy life, right? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> you got to listen to what your wife says. And you'll be happy. It has been a pleasure <laughs> having you, you so here on much. the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank and stay busy. I know that you'll have a lot more coming up for us absolutely. as the years Thank progress. Thank you so much for having me. We appreciate you Thank being you. here. Now, to find out more about Sean Ray, the music, the perfume, and speaking dates, be sure to visit his website, which is seanray.com. Thank you.